Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa, and if you are new here, welcome to Marisa's Moolit Creations. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a beautiful DIY using these lovely products here. And this project is great for Astara, even though it just passed, but you can use it for next year. It's great just for general springtime decorations or for Easter. So let's get started. All right, guys, I am back. So very, very quickly, I'm just going to go over what I'm using. I have, I haven't used these in quite some time. This is Anita's acrylic paints in all these beautiful colors. These are just some of the colors I am going to choose from right there. I have some cute little pom-poms here and these beautiful enamel eggs that I am almost positive that Gina from Gina Loves to Craft gave me quite some time ago and I'm finally going to use them. I have some paint brushes. I have this beautiful orchid, uh, or yep, uh, <laughs> stencil butter right here. And I have some paint brushes. I have this little scraper here. I have some beautiful flowers. And I have a bunny rabbit, which is associated with Astara, Spring, and Easter. And some paper flowers. And actually, this Easter bunny was snapped off, or the bunny was snapped off of an Easter sign from uh, the Dollar Tree. But uh, the whole sign was a little wobbly. And I was like, you know what? I just want the bunny, so I snapped it right off. And even though some of the edges are a little crazy there we are going to of course do what crafters do and embellish it <laughs> all right so i also have this stencil here that i'm going to use i have a canvas board i think this is five by seven we're going to paint that put a stencil and then i have a frame all right so there's a lot of embellishing a lot of different parts to this project so let's just do one step at a time Hey guys, so I'm going to paint with this beautiful pearl white and this charcoal gray. And on camera, I'm just going to do one coat. I'm going to let this coat dry and continue to add further coats. I want it to be more of a pearl white with a little tinge of gray. Like a cute little fluffy bunny rabbit for a star, Easter, or just springtime. So next step, I'm taking this beautiful pinks and robin's egg and these gorgeous lavender colors. That bigger one is from the Dollar Tree. And now I'm just going to paint on this 5x7 canvas board a very abstract background because it's going to be the background for that beautiful rose stencil with that or orchid stencil butter. So I am just going to blend in all these colors together, the pretty pinks, the lavender, and the robin's egg, and also that other lavender color I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm just continuing to blend, adding more lavender in that corner there. It's not going to be perfect, it doesn't have to be. It's just going to be nicely blended all together at the end. And I will probably add another coat off camera because these paints are quite light and not that pigmented. So it's going to take another coat or two just to get the effect that I want. And I'm thinking I may add another color. Uh, maybe a little bit of blue. I think it needs a little bit of blue. So I'm just doing this coat with you guys now. And we're going to let this dry as I smooth out all the texture and blend it perfectly. Thank you. 
So I did add a little of that beautiful metallic blue and here is my abstract background. I really, really am loving all these pastel colors. They're perfect for springtime. So now I'm taking this white frame and I'm going to do a dry brush technique. So I put some of the paint on this brush and I just took off the excess and now I'm just kind of dragging it along the frame here. I got this frame actually at a local discount store. It was about $3 and it's just perfect for this project. So I'm just going to slowly build up the color with this beautiful pearl aqua color and I'm just scraping off a little paint there that I got on there accidentally. So the dry brush gives this beautiful stressed look this vintage stressed look that I really really love especially this aqua it's just perfect against the white and the blue is this perfect color for Easter for springtime and it's gonna go perfectly with all the other colors and here it is a little bit of a close-up and I am going to of course let this dry and now I'm doing the sides and I'm gonna do all the other sides okay so our bunny is dry and so is the frame and I did all the sides it's nice and dry and the color I built it up a little bit more so now I put the stencil with a little piece of washi tape on top of the canvas that it is fully dry and there is my butter and my little scraper there and I'm just going to take that spatula and put enough product on the stencil. I have never done this technique before on top of a painting so I'm hoping that it comes out good. So I'm just making sure I get every little inch and every little crevice in that stencil. I really love this stencil. It's a beautiful rose stencil. And I'm just spreading the stencil butter in this gorgeous color all over the stencil. And that's it. Now I'm hoping it comes out good. So let's lift the stencil. And it is actually perfect. This is exactly how I want it to look. And it has this beautiful dimension to it. And I really love the pearl orchid purple. Okay, so while this is drying, we are going to go on to the bunny. So let's take the bunny away. And now we are going to take this hot glue gun and we're going to put these beautiful eggs on the frame. They are absolutely gorgeous. And I believe that Gina from Gina Loves to Craft gave these to me. These are so beautiful. I never had a chance to use them. So I'm just adding them to the side of the frame. Even though they do have a little self-adhesive uh, tab there, I just want to make sure that they did not get off the frame. So let that sit down. So first we're going to put a little fluffy tail on the bunny, a little white pom-pom. And I did wrap it with some florist tape. We are going to glue down this very pretty pink flower. And I just used the florist tape to hide the wire. Now we're going to take the green flower and put it right where his feet are. Just press it down really well. Add a little bit more glue to that pink flower. Make sure it's down properly so it does not pop off. Now our bunny is embellished. So beautiful. Just perfect, just the way I want it. Okay, next step. We are going to actually take the bunny and we are now going to hot glue it to the outside of the frame. So I'm just making where the bunny is going to sit put a little hot glue there put some at his ears and place him down pressing down on the hot glue so it stays still 
And now this project is really coming together and I absolutely love it. Okay guys, there was nothing left to do but put our project in the frame and display it for all of you to see. I absolutely adore how this came out. It is exactly the way I envisioned it and I love when that happens. So I hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial for spring, for Ostara, for Easter. You can use this to decorate your home. I am actually going to put this right on my altar and I absolutely love it. It makes a beautiful addition for any springtime decoration. So guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.